these karmic individuals that gave you such a hard time that took advantage of you that have abused you in every way shape or form that they can do not help them don't help them because you helping them is enabling them because they expect others to do everything for them without them figuring things out on their own these are the types of people where they exercise weaponized incompetence they feel like if they don't know how to do a certain thing that they can just ask somebody else or demand for someone else to help them so that they don't have to figure it out on their own as long as someone else is around that can do it for them or do things for them they'll just ask somebody else to do something for them or demand that someone do something for them so that they don't have to do it themselves these people are lazy they're slothful lazy sloths they don't want to do things on their own they don't want to figure things out on their own they'd rather just be codependent on others and rely on other people to handle their affairs and to handle just the smallest most basic tasks and they even expect people to do not only small favors for them but big favors for them and they feel like they don't have to reciprocate what is rightfully due when they ask people to do favors for them like they look at favors as someone doing something for them but they don't have to compensate or they don't have to give any type of reciprocity or mutual reciprocation to the other person for them doing this favor they just think that they are entitled to special treatment entitled to favors from others entitled to so many people doing things for them and they don't ever have to reciprocate that's why you helping them is going to further push their agenda it's going to further push their agenda of them believing that they are just so special and that everyone just has to help them and people are in the wrong for not helping them and they don't owe anybody anything else when they are being helped no don't get yourself sucked up into that whole vortex of energy when you're doing all of this giving so much light but you're not getting anything in return and you're left feeling drained and depleted you see these people they don't know how to handle it on their own at times at times some things they can handle on their own some things they cannot but instead of them trying to learn trying to figure it out like how you would learn and you would figure it out before you go ask somebody else the first thing that they do is go ask somebody and even after you have taught them a certain thing you have showed them how to do something you've given them the knowledge and wisdom they will still go back to you and ask you hey can you do this for me hey can you figure this out hey how do i do this i have no idea what to do after you showed them many a times they know how to do it they just want to ask you to do it for them because these people they feel entitled to being taken care of they feel like they need to be babied but they also need to be in control it's like which one are you going to choose are you going to be the leader and be in control or are you going to be this baby that's going to just have everybody else do everything for them they want to be babied but they also want to be in control but you can't have both you, you cannot have both because a person that's in control doesn't need to be babied a person that's fully fully in control of everything or a person that wants to control everybody else why do they need to be baby you see how it doesn't make any sense so for them they expect to be in control of everything and everyone around them but they also want to be babied and it's like a very it's like an oxymoron because it's contradicting the energy that they come forth with like they act like they can be in control, like they can handle all this on their own, but then they want to turn around and they want to be babied as if they cannot handle things on their own. So it's a very confusing energy. You see, they will wait around for someone to do things for them than them moving around and doing something on their own. They sit there and wait for others to help them. They just wait around for someone else to pick up after them, pick up their mess, do things for them, instead of them putting forth the effort and energy to doing things on their own. They always want someone to pick up after them. They want someone to clean up their mess. They want someone to fix their problem. 
They want someone to figure out how to do this. They want someone else to process what they need to process, but that's not how life works. You are not here to figure things out for that person all the time. The person that feels entitled for you to give them all of this. And this person <clears throat> that we're talking about could be anybody. It could be anybody that this energy resonates with. But it's the fact where you know for a fact that the energy that they come forth with of wanting to be in control is all, it's not out of pure intention. It's out of malice intent. With their malice intent, they want other people to, they want to control other people. They want other people to be in subservient to them. They want other people to be their puppet so that they can be the puppeteer. And you know what's coming from malice intent. But at the same time, they come across with this weaponized incompetence and act like they don't know how to do any, <clears throat> excuse me, they act like they don't know how to do anything on their own. And they want people to just baby them the entire time, but then they want to turn around and the same person that was just getting baby, they want to turn around and be in control of others. But they're coming to the people that they want to control to baby them. So how does that make any sense? It's a very confusing energy. And if you're dealing with a person with confusing energy where you're unsure of where they where they are, it's like, are you going to be up here being this being this mature person or are you going to be down here being this immature person? Which one are you going to be? We're talking about people that do this stuff on purpose, that purposely bounce back and forth and jump to both energies because they just want what they want. These people, they are capable, but they want to just be coddled. These people want to be coddled is the word. Thank you. These people want to be coddled. They want for everyone to just treat them in such a way where they're just given all of this special treatment, but yet they don't give forth the energy that is, they don't give out the energy that they want to receive. They give out this controlling energy, but they want to receive coddled energy. They give out this immature energy, but they want to receive mature energy. They give out all of this disrespect, but they want to receive respect. How does that work? So yeah, don't help these people because you helping them is enabling them. It's enabling the narrative that they're pushing for themselves and it's preventing them from growing and preventing them from moving forward in life. They are preventing themselves from moving forward in life, but you are adding in by helping them. Tell them, I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. I can't help you. You could have to figure that out on your own. Because out of all the time that they've helped you, I mean, out of all the times that you have helped them, excuse me, out of all the times that you have helped them, out of all the times that you have helped them, how often have they helped you? How often have they been equally reciprocal when you have given to them? And do they still want to control you? See, they can't have the best of both worlds. They can't try to control somebody and then want that same person to help them and coddle them. Because how is a person that wants to be coddled in control of anybody? So yeah, they need to get it together and you can help them get it together by not enabling them, by not pushing forward their narrative, by how you treat them. Take your power back.